good luck! <laughs> Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. I hope you're doing magical today. If you're new, my name is Tay Luna. Welcome to our fun spiritual hippie channel here on the internet. <laughs> I'm so happy to have you. Make sure to click subscribe down there, become part of our tribe, and let's just jump into video. Okay, okay, okay. Today's video, you guys, I have been planning on filming this and working on this for so long, and I don't know why, it's just always taking a back seat, but <sighs> today is the day. <laughs> we are going to be making our very own little tiny mini travel altars and these are perfect for taking anywhere with you when you're not at home and you need a minute to just zen out you know what i'm saying take it to work with you y'all i'm sure you need it there but yeah this is something that would be perfect to take even if you're just going to work you want to have it just in case you need a little meditation moment if you're traveling i could go on and on you get the idea <laughs> So basically what I'm going to be doing is we're going to be talking about all the fun little goodies that I have in my little travel altar and this is actually going to be given away to one of you guys. I haven't done a giveaway in a hot minute and I love giving you guys presents so I'm going to be doing a giveaway. All of the information on how to enter is going to be in the description below so make sure you go read it make sure you follow the rules and stuff so it's fair for us all I will be shipping one of you this cute little treasure box full of goodies from me and yeah without further ado let's jump into how to make your own travel altar <laughs> So I actually thrifted this cute little box. I'm sure you could find stuff like this at, you know, your local thrift store, a craft store, even the dollar store has cute little boxes like this. Um, it doesn't have to be anything over the top. You could even use a little shoe box. So anything that you have to keep your goodies nice and safe. Um, but yeah, this is just perfect. It opens like that. And then I thought it would be really cool too for whoever gets this. If you're into like wood burning and stuff, you could even burn like sigils or symbols or quotes or something on the top that make you really happy when you do your meditation practice or whatever so um, yeah just something that I thought of that you might want to try if you win this <laughs> so let's jump into what we have inside so on the top here I have this cute little satchel this is not a satchel this is not the word I was talking about this is a cute little cinch bag full of lavender now I personally don't really work with herbs much in my practice um, I've just not really dived into that yet you know what I'm saying but but I love lavender y'all if you guys have anxiety um, or if you just need something to kind of help you calm down a little bit lavender is the way to go so I always like to have a little baggie of this with me I actually keep some in my car for anxiety flare-ups and you know a little bit of road rage because that's the thing so if you're into herbs definitely um, have a little bag full of herbs in your ritual bag but of course I like to use lavender so that is the first thing that um, you can throw in your little travel altar on top I have this really cute little Buddha statue and of course you can put any sort of statues in your ritual box for who you like to call in when you practice or whoever you pray to or anything like that um, I love having little Buddhas with me they make me very happy remind me to be peaceful um, remind me to let go of any attachments things like that so I like to have these in my altar I love to have a little statue of some sort in my travel altar doesn't matter who or what it is just depending on your personal practice but yeah I like to have little Buddhas with me they just make me happy and yeah I have them everywhere <laughs> the next thing that I have are just two tiny little crystals um, and of course you can add more this is a piece of green calcite and it's actually got some really pretty like lines going on in here and then I have a pretty little piece of amethyst I don't like to overwhelm the crystals in my travel altar because I actually like to keep them in my purse already so I can always whip those out but um, I would definitely if you don't carry them with you regularly load up your travel altar with some of your favorite crystals and they don't have to be big crystals to be big and powerful in an energetic sense so even the tiny little pieces or if you have crystals that break you know little pieces break off or jewelry where crystals break off keep all of them you guys sage them cleanse them and yeah they're still perfect to work with at least for me I love them so crystals are a must-have in your travel altar just saying you need to have those <laughs> The next thing that I have is a cute little pack of incense and I actually have a tiny little matchbook that goes with it. 
Um, so those are both in there and you can use any sort of incense that you like. This is a vanilla kind, so it's a little bit more of a muted incense just because I'm not sure who is going to receive this, how earthy of scents that you like, but incense are really great, especially the small ones. They're portable, easy to use, they burn out very quickly, so when you're done with one meditation you can just toss it or you know throw it in your ritual box to keep for whatever you may use it for. Alternatively, you could use anything like sage, you know, another herb for cleansing. Um, but yeah, anything like that to burn, get the vibes going. You could even put like a little tea light in there um, just to kind of have that energy, that ambiance, if you will. <laughs> the next thing that I like to have in my little travel altar is a fun little stack of, these are like oracle cards, kind of. Um, they just have cute little sayings on the back so you can pull them, get a little message, a channeled message from your guides, or if you have any questions to ask, anything like that. Um, a deck of cards is usually something that I also like to carry with me, or at least have in my car. Um, but these are actually handpicked from one of my personal decks that I have here at the house. So you're gonna be getting a stack of some really beautiful oracle cards or saying cards, if you will, um, from me to you to use during your practice. So um, I like to shuffle them, you know, put my energy into them. Maybe if you have any questions, let those kind of surface. And then when you pull a card, it is just a little bit of guidance from your angels above. I just really like to have messages like this at hand. Um, it keeps me inspired. It keeps me wanting to keep my practice going, especially if I'm like in a funk, things aren't really going my way. Sometimes having a fun little message from your spirit guides is all you need to get your energy back to normal. So I definitely recommend putting some cards in there. Um, I do plan on doing a DIY like Oracle card deck video where you can and make your own um, fun little cards to pull. So we'll be doing that here in the near future. Make sure to subscribe, turn on those notifications so you don't miss it. Um, but yeah, for now, a tiny little deck like this is perfect. <laughs> the last thing that I have in here is a really pretty cloth crystal grid and this was actually from one of my enchanted crystal unboxing videos i used to have this subscription where i got crystals every month if you haven't seen those videos i'll link them down below for you but this is a gorgeous super pretty crystal grid that you can use um, it is a blue color and yeah, it's super small and portable. It is a really nice cloth. So yeah, you can bring this with you anywhere you go, set up a little grid really quickly, um, or it's just a nice altar, like, you know, little ritual mat or altar mat, whatever you wanna call it. Um, so yeah, you can have your own little section of divine space while you're working, but yeah. So I would definitely recommend to have a little crystal grid. You can print them off on the internet, you know, put a picture of one in your ritual box so you have an idea of maybe what you want to grid, or if you just have a little piece of cloth or fabric to lay all of your goodies out when you use your travel altar, that is going to be really helpful for you. I just put all of these little goodies together, so I like to put my grid on the bottom. I'm sorry I keep looking over here. This is where my screen is so I can see what on earth I'm filming for you guys. So yeah, the little ritual grid goes on the bottom and then all of the cards go in here. And then I have the incense that I stick right on the top. We've got our little matchbook, our little Buddha. I like to just stick the little crystals on the side here so they don't get lost. And then we have our herb little bag, which we can kind of squish in there because it's just some lavender, you know, super easy. But yeah, that is everything that I have in my travel altar. And this is so perfect, you guys. If you don't have one of these, I definitely recommend it. It really comes in handy sometimes, especially like if you're traveling, I get a lot of travel anxiety and just need to center all of that energy, release it. Um, and having something like this is really helpful. Honestly, too, if you just like, it's just a security thing to have. It's like a little emergency kit. So that is everything in this little travel altar, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you guys make your own travel altar. I would absolutely love to see them. If you do make your own travel altar, I would absolutely love to see it. So either film a video and let me know in the comments or feel free to take a photo and tag me on Instagram. My name is at Tayluna. I would love to see how your travel altars come out. You guys are always so creative and I just love, love, love seeing the little crafts that you make that are inspired by my videos so definitely 
send them my way. I want to see them. <laughs> so like I said in the beginning, I'm going to be giving this very travel altar away to one of you guys. So I will leave all of the rules and everything you need to know in the description below so you can figure out how to win one of these babies. I'm so excited. I'm going to be covering all the costs, all the shipping, everything like that. This is just a tiny little sliver of gratitude and appreciation for you guys. Me hosting this giveaway is, yeah, all just because I'm so grateful to have cultivated this amazing tribe and community to learn and grow together. And it is just such an honor to be able to hold this space for all of us. I love you all more than you will ever know. And I just, I'm so excited to continue to get to know you and to grow as a family here online. You guys are amazing. If you want to learn more about spirituality and becoming part of our tribe, I host an online spirituality course where we talk about yoga, crystals, meditation, all the spiritual things that you need to know. We cover everything in the course, so if you are interested in becoming a part of that, I will leave the link in the description. I would absolutely love to see you there, and yeah. Make sure to like this video if you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already and turn those notifications on. I have lots of fun videos coming. I love you to the moon and back. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, you guys. Good luck. <laughs>